Heads is the call from Andrew Strauss. Ricky Bonding wins the toss. What's happening? Oh, we're going to have a bat, Mark. Beautiful conditions. Great day, yeah. Looks like a nice wicket. A um, little bit of grass on the top of it. Might just swing around with a new ball for a little while. Should be decent pace with the grass on it. So, uh, yeah, important that we obviously start the game very well. But all the old characteristics are there of an Adelaide pitch, I think, aren't they? Hopefully they're still there, mate. Yeah, it's a, no it's a nice place to play. It's a, it's a beautiful ground. I think the new, the new, um, new stand looks awesome. You still see the churches in the background. So it is, it is one of our favourite places to play, no doubt about that. You mentioned uh, today and the importance of today uh, in relation to the Gabba and the long haul there and to what's to come in this match because they tend to be quite long test matches here. Um, do you think that doubles the importance today? Yeah, the, the games generally do go late in the game here. Um, it is hard, generally hard work for the bowlers, but... Um, like some sort of like Indian edition sometimes a lot happens late in the games here so you have to make sure that you, you play really well at the start of the game and keep yourself in the contest right until the end. A lot of focus around the changes that you've made just confirm them to us now. Uh, Bollinger in for Johnson and Harris in for Hilfenhaus. So and um, the thinking up. behind that? Um, well we thought as I said yesterday we felt Mitch was a little bit out of form and needed to go and find some rhythm so Bollinger is the obvious inclusion to come in for him. Um, Ryan Harris has grown up here, played a lot of cricket in Adelaide um, and will bowl well in these conditions. He's the sort of guy that can stand the seam up and hit the wicket nice and hard so we, we hope that he has some impact for us during the game. Cool, hot day to be in the field. Uh, it is, yeah, but uh, you know, evidence here suggests that it's not a massively important toss. Uh, the wicket stays good for you know, most of the first three or four, four days. So. The important thing is if there is any life in the wicket this morning, we take advantage of that, get two or three Australian wickets early and uh, put some pressure on them. That's, uh, that's going to be the basis of taking wickets here. Quite a, a, an emotional and mentally demanding occasion in Brisbane. Yeah, it was. You know, first test match of the National Series is always uh, a bit of a test for you individually and collectively. We came through that test really well, I thought, and we were stronger as the game went on, which is encouraging. But it's back to square one again today. I think we all recognise that and um, you know, we need to start this game well. And you're able to name an, an unchanged team. Was there ever an issue with that, with mental or even physical tiredness? No, I think, uh, you know, the only time you consider it uh, is if we felt the bowlers weren't going to get through this game, if it was too demanding for them physically. But they didn't have much bowling to do in the last couple of days of Brisbane. Uh, you know, they're pretty confident bowling attack and hopefully they'll uh, transfer that into wickets here today. Big thank you to Mark. Nick was down there on the ground. A terrific atmosphere at the ground. It's got a great feel about this this test match 36,000 people in here it promises to be a beauty James Anderson looks like he will open the bowling no great surprise there so Shane Watson strike James Anderson to bowl the first ball of test match number two this will flatten out to be a very good batting strip oh, oh, a, oh, a bit of a mix up can he hit him yeah. he can is gone without facing a ball and Jonathan Trott's done the job for England brilliant fielding wonderful fielding a real mix-up Katic gone without facing a ball there's no worse feeling uh, if you're a batsman playing in a test match oh dear let alone not facing a ball hasn't faced the ball can I run out at the Adelaide Oval Shane Watson there was a run there Trot was quick to move but Kadic was late to respond and it was a direct hit he had one stump to aim at and bang he got it Australia is their first wicket Simon Kadic out for North let's see if we can pick up what happens yeah this, you watch Watson looking at the ball Kadic definitely a pause and uh, it was that pause which gave him no chance at all and uh, this will uh, certainly test Ricky Ponting, who's being cheered out onto the ground. The whole of Australia wants their captain to get out there today and perform well. Yes, in test match number 150. Ponting's on strike. Here's Anderson. Oh, he's got him! He's got him at second slip. Boy, that's a good catch. Ponting's gone. First ball. Australia two for none. Oh, this is unbelievable. Tubby, you're on a hat-trick again. Well, well, what a start for England. A little bit of movement there, the perfect delivery to bowl to Ponting early on. Warney? Well, they say runouts cause collapses. Well, this Ricky Ponting first up. Jimmy Anderson gets it right in the right area, makes the captain play, and a good catch from Graham Swan. He moved well to it. It was low. It was in between first and second, but it's a great catch. Two in a row for the Poms. Horrible start. What was that about the toss? What a toss the win. <laughs> Australia are two for none. Oh, this is uh, just wonderful bowling. I mean, very late swing there as well, by the way. 
and uh, look at him come across that's why you have a staggered slip cordon well taken yeah good catch hardly believe it Australia won the toss batted first Adelaide which you always do and I think Michael Clark was probably cooling his heels in there probably thinking I'll bat later today here he is to face the last ball of the over with a team hat trick up for grabs oh, he's away and there's a the run so Clark's away Australia away to one but it's cost him two wickets in the first over we might have to start putting some television sets out in the car park for the late comers. Here's Broad to Clark. Three slips and a bat pad. Oh, oh swing and a miss. Oh. There's some nerves out there. Oh, another play and a miss. Oh. And yeah. straight to Graham Swan. Anderson started beautifully. Got the ball in the right end. Obliged with an edge to swan. Magnificent bowling. That is a beautiful outswinger. It's well pitched up as well, dragging Clark out. This is the sort of ball that you want to bowl to batsman early on. Just have a look at it go late. And uh, there's Swan. And doesn't he look nice and safe as well? I always thought that the catching of this England side could be the difference. So far, so good. Warning, you've gone very quiet. Well, you've been talking. I didn't get a chance to say anything. Michael Clark gone for two. Australia three for two. Yes, as you watch that replay, um, you see him pushing it. It did swing out, but boy, he was really pushing hard at it, wasn't he? Beautiful catching.